hi in this part 34 we will look at concepts linked with pre-signed urls how you can store multiple objects in the same s3 bucket we will briefly touch base on s3 intelligent tiring storage class we will look at interface vpc endpoints we will understand internet gateway briefly and we will also look at systems manager in short if you have not yet subscribed do so and help us with subscriptions you can stay tuned with the latest content as well you can click the link in the description become a cloud kernel member for additional questions access you need both paid content and free content to clear the certifications let us look at this one see in your company you must be getting training and trainers try to share content with you you are external user for them they will share for seven days the documents have been saved on s3 buckets what is the most secure way to share the documents with external people right you guys are external people to the trainer pre-signed url is the safest way since we want most secure way this is the most secure way so you can pause this read it so when you create a pre-signed url for your object you must provide your security credentials and specify a bucket name an object key an http method and expiration date and time you can also create pre-signed urls using temporary token and hear me out clearly if the token expires then pre-signed url also expires see how you can generate this url using console or visual studio sdk cli this is my answer see b is telling that you move it to a separate folder and then share that folder to with external users so you don't have to give permanent access so b even if you create a new folder okay first of all can you create folders you cannot create folders there is no concept of folders in s3 objects folder is a concept of windows explorer that is why this is wrong so c is saying that you create temporary users give them read only access okay and expire the credential after seven days so this will this is not most secured so the same folder if uh, the credentials are hacked or shared then it is not secured and d is also around the same lines instead of user they will uh, they are asking to create a rule and use arn of this rule so this will not work also actually this one read only access is fine but when you give the arn of the role why will you give the arn of the role you want to make it secured d is not making it secured arn is the amazon resource number you should never share this with anybody it is a wrong practice so this is a documentation on arn and this is the arn format okay and then these are your paths in arn and so on so you can pause this piece and read it carefully so this would be the final answer on this next question is like you have a developer and they are storing many objects in a single bucket s3 bucket okay so you can store it in a single bucket multiple objects that is fine perfectly fine the problem is that there would be high request rates so if the request request rates are very high and you have everything in one bucket then it can be a problem with respect to accessibility and performance that will be a problem okay so what is the best way so intelligent tiring no you it is a type of storage class if you want to move the like you don't access 
a folder usually so then that will be moved to the archive tires that is what intelligent tiring does but here the problem is not the frequency of access is not the problem all the objects are actively accessed because how do i infer that because these are high request rates are there no that means it is actively accessed so b says that you store the objects at the root of s3 so this is a very bad idea so everything will go to one bucket and one prefix and it will jam uh, not good for performance access so b is wrong see c is correct you will have to address this through prefix for the objects in the windows explorer world uh, think of it as subfolders so for example here you see they have this prefix in windows explorer these are subfolders like under europe you have france under france you have novelle and so on so this is called prefix in the uh, object storage world whether it be aws s3 which is aid amazon's object storage or azure blob storage which is for azure cloud it is the object store d is wrong because it is just saying that you use a tag name prefix no we have to use prefix as a functionality of s3 hence so this would be the final answer you can read this piece of the documentation okay let us look at this next one so you have two boxes this yellow box and blue box yellow box is your lambda and blue box is your systems manager which is used to manage resources and it works with on prem and hybrid cloud multi cloud so on so now they move lambda in a vpc private subnets with private subnets okay so you see this green lines we have circulated so this yellow box is lambda and green dotted line is the vpc with private subnets so when lambda is trying to access this blue box right assistant manager it is getting an error so that that means some problem happened with this private subnets so a is telling that you will have to create security groups so primarily it is like a virtual firewall you can tell or oh, like which ips can access like you can control incoming outgoing traffic so if you see this documentation this line you know this is a line which is important for interface vpcs you know the scenario this question is explaining this is exactly what interface vpc endpoints is made for and it works in this scenario like for each subnet that you specify from a vpc we create an endpoint network interface in the subnet and assign it a private ip address so this is important for this yellow box to talk to uh, blue box see if your vpc wants to talk to internet then we use internet gateway internet gateway is for your vpc who wants to talk to the internet vpc who wants to talk to the internet vpc wants to talk to the internet this green line box is vpc you want to talk to internet you need internet gateway c is wrong because our question is not telling that we have to talk to internet that is not the scenario we have to talk to systems manager see if you want to connect to s3 and dynamo deep and without internet gateway or nat device then you use gateway endpoint we don't have s3 or dynamo db in our question that is why uh, d is wrong this would be our final answer you can pause this piece of the documentation to read about interface vpc endpoints and then you can also pause this prerequisites and then this is a process to create a vpc endpoint and so on if you have not yet subscribed do so it will help us grow our subscriber base and it will help you stay tuned to the latest 
certification questions and content. You can click the link in the description and become a Cloud Kernel member. This brings us to the end of part 34. See you in the next part.